Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dustin Dean and today we're going to check on my experiment on how much of the sugar water does the bees consume in a day. I have these buckets out right here. This bucket has holes on the top lid and uh, filled with um, sugar and water. Makes like a syrup. And you turn this upside down. What I was doing is I was turning it upside down and I was putting it on that Valvoline right in front of all the hives and all the bees would like a community feeding station and um, I noticed that in under a day they would consume this whole entire bucket under a day so we're gonna see we put the um, um, mason jars inside each one of these hives and we'll see if that slows down the feed because I'm thinking I'm feeding my neighbors bees as well and so let's get into the hives and see what we see this is Shikara's hive. Looking good. I haven't sprayed in there. I wonder about the aggression of these bees. Are they going to come in and just start stinging me? They're guard bees. Let me smoke them. There we go. Now they did about half on this one. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at his little, his mouth is in there. Can you see that? Yeah. His tongue is like a straw. It's like, wait, wait a minute, it just went empty. <laughs> that hole's empty, that hole's empty, that hole's empty. What in the dickens is going on here? They're all empty. It's okay, little guy. It's okay. It's okay. All right, we'll fill this one up because I want to be. The worst part about this job is it's so sticky all the time. It smells good. It is. It smells really good. Okay. Well, the trick is, is to get this. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Scoot them off the edge. Yeah, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. You guys, you're not making this easy for me. Okay. Okay. That one's full and done. Okay, the the Carnoli family. You know what? I think I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna put numbers on these uh, boxes. That way, for I think it'd help you guys out to understand what one I'm in. And so, I think that's a good idea. Let me know your thoughts on that. But we'll call this one Hive Three. That's how much they've drank. This was full yesterday. They drink that much today. Can you look in there and see how they do that. So I just put that right over the hole right there, and they they consume that <laughs> that yummy stickiness. And all I did was just drill with the smallest drill bit I had. Doesn't take much to fill it. Uh uh. Don't. And the only way um, another only way another bee could come in here and rob is they can there, there's a back vent right here. So if I put this up here, bees can get into there. And they can, they can rob. So to rob that sugar, they have to go. They have to go into that hole. And there's guard beads. I promise you, 
If I stick my finger there, I'm gonna get stung. And then they have to go up and under and get that sugar. Way too many guard beads, it's not worth the risk. A bee will kill another bee to defend its hive. Okay, interesting with this particular hive is that I know it's a weak hive, but they've hardly drank any. They've, I don't even have to mess with this one. Yeah, it's got good airflow. Okay, watch out, little guy. Watch out. Watch out for your tongue. <laughs> Knock him back in there. I don't want to trap his tongue there. That'd be a horrible way to die. <laughs> with something landing on your tongue, you're like, can't get out from under it. Yeah, we don't want him to die that way. So that one, I'm not going to worry about feeling. This is my Italian hive. And they glued the top. I don't know how they did that in such a short time. They, bees will glue, seal their lids off. Okay, this is the Italian hive. And they've hardly used any as well, so I don't need to fill this up. They're drinking it. They got their little tongues in there. So, I think the reason why is this hive and that hive's weak, and then my other two strong hives are. This is my Italians, Carnolian, Carnolian, and then Shikaras. We have no idea what kind of bees they are. They're not killer bees, I know that. Because I'm still alive. <laughs> so, Here's our sugar water. Um, it was less than a gallon. This is a gallon bucket. I started off yesterday with about up to right here. I've used this much in them. Um, so from yesterday, we're down to here on this level. And all four of these have full mason jars of sugar. So two days, still plenty of sugar water left. Bees are fat and happy. Um, yeah. So community feeding is you're wasting a lot of your um, sugar, which is costly. It's uh, it's not um, cost effective. So I think it's it's worth taking the time and 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 putting them inside the hive for for your own bees. tell Patches and Bossy are still like really pregnant so I'm hoping here any day like any day any second they can they can have her bait their babies Patches we bet she'll have two Bossy I'm guessing maybe two or three we'll see Okay, so what I absolutely love is just how nice and thick and tall this grass is. It's just there's over an, there's like an overabundance of food for the animals and it's just they just they love it. They just graze all day, they sleep in it, they just it's just nice to be able to have this much grass Happy. that they can eat. So you, all your works are paying off, Mom. Yes, everything's paying off. All the changing pipes paying off. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>